Okay, update. So, this piece of sheet metal is going to become a lid for this drum. This drum is going to sit right there and is going to become my recuperator. So the 90 of this is going to go straight into the top of this barrel and then the exhaust is going to be on the bottom. <clears throat> so now you're thinking, well that seems ass backwards. Shouldn't it go in the bottom and then use the heat rising you know, to go out the top? Well, maybe. We'll see. We can always switch it around. But this is what I want to do just to make keep it simple and compact. Okay, so... And... There are going to be pipes through the middle and then the hot exhaust air should heat those up and um, yeah, we can <clears throat> either force air through them or just let them cool off by themselves. We'll have to see. But yeah, that will be my recuperator and I'll have to make, I already started making little rims here, so this it's just some angle iron and uh, I cut some slots in there. Focus you fuck. Okay. I basically just doubled up the cutting disc on the grinder and it got me enough clearance here. So I bent this around. That's gonna become my edge around the top of the barrel and then I can put the lid on it and some um, stove sealing tape and um, that allows me to be able to remove that lid at one point just um, if I wanted to Okay, so now all we need to do is somewhat weld up the little cracks and make a new another piece for here to finish it off. And that's that. So now all we need to do is make a lid.
there. So, I wouldn't worry too much if this was just on a draft air, but because we have forced air exhaust, uh, it has to be sealed, so, so I sealed it. Fast temperature. Okay, so this is, <clears throat> I just temporarily put this on like this, because um, obviously I'll need to raise, I'll need to raise the burner and the reservoir so that I can connect this straight with the barrel upright. Um, I knew that's gonna be an issue, but um, yeah, so I'll have to do that. She's currently smoking all the crap off it. But I don't have leaks as far as I can tell. We'll have to see when we fire it up and it really smokes like a son of a bitch. Um, but yeah, we got lots of temperature still on the exhaust. So we got 130 degrees now in the pipe still. So we can easily put all our uh, modifications there, but in there. But yeah, so this is temporary because I just wanted to see what the temperature is going to be like and whether it's worth it making the modifications to fit the round pipe through the center and I would say yes it is worth it we'll absolutely do that because she's a hot mother okay so uh, unfortunately I did not record fitting the pipes but it's not really that complicated of a process but a lengthy one so I put seven pipes in there and basically in a way where I thought the exhaust would, um, you know, heat up the pipes the best way. And obviously the further out they went, the more complicated it was to fit them. But I got her done. The welding was quite substantial again. But um, yeah, and then in the uh, final pictures, you can see what the setup is like now. It looks pretty sleek, pretty clean, and it sure puts out a lot of heat. We have an exhaust temperature of uh, around 400 degrees with blue flames going down the uh, pipe, that exhaust pipe from the stove and into the uh, recuperator or heat exchanger. And we're running about 200 degrees Celsius inside of that, um, or not in, on the outside, of the heat exchanger. The pipes get anywhere between, well obviously cold to about 150 degrees, degrees Celsius. Running a little bit of air through them is noticeably better.